When talking about Japan, the story of the imperial family is indispensable. This time I will talk about the Japanese emperor. I think that there are quite a few Japanese people who do not respect His Majesty the Emperor. I was keenly aware of that when there was an event. That was in 2012 when South Korean President Lee Myung Bok made a humiliating apology request to His Majesty the Emperor. Until then, I had a rather favorable thought towards South Korea, but at this time I completely replaced the anti-Korean idea. I remember feeling very strong about taunting His Majesty the Emperor. For the first time, I was strongly aware that I was Japanese. Perhaps there were many similar Japanese people. I think that the current anti-Korean trend in Japan began at this time. Well, do you know? There are many monarchs in the world, but the longest-running royal family in the world is the Japanese imperial family. Introducing the top three, the third place is the British royal family, which has been in place since 1066. The second is the Danish royal family, which has been around since 936. The longest is Japan, which is said to have started in 660 BC in the Nihon Shoki, but it is not currently proved in a legendary story. The emperor whose existence is currently confirmed is the 26th Emperor Keitai, and the imperial family existed at least at the beginning of the 6th century. During this period, Various governments were born in Japan, but the imperial family has consistently reigned as the emperor of Japan. It is very different from China, where the previous royal family always kills all when the dynasty collapses and a new dynasty is created. Where does this difference come from? To be honest, I don't even know. There is a theory that the deprivation was carried out in the early days of the Yamato royal authority, but it is almost non-existent after the Heian period. In other words, the authority of the imperial family has been established since the Heian period. Even in Japan in the 1000s, the emperor was a dynasty that has been going on for 500 years, and I think he respects the length of history that has been going on since that time. Was Emperor Tenmu who solidified the unstable early imperial family into an immovable position? He was the emperor who won the throne in Japan's first turbulent Jinchin War and he was the first to use the word emperor. He had more power than any other emperor in the past and was a tyranny of the emperor. The imperial family lasted a long time not because it had power all the time. Rather, the imperial family was able to survive for a long time because it gave up its power well. In the middle of the Heian period, the emperor himself did not have much power, and Mr. Fujiwara reigned as a regent. The source of Fujiwara's power was that he had a relative relationship with the emperor. It was great that the emperor's mother was Mr. Fujiwara. Why was Mr. Fujiwara able to gain power by becoming a relative of the emperor? It is closely related to the marriage system of aristocrats during the Heian period. Marriage of aristocrats at the time was a commuting marriage, and even if they got married, their husbands would go to their brides and would not live together. Naturally, the child will be raised by the mother's family. It is quite possible that the emperor's children raised in this way will prioritize the intentions of the mother's family when they become the next emperor. In the Heian period, the existence of a samurai appeared. They are not unrelated to the emperor. There were two giants of the Heian period samurai, Genji and Hishi, Minamoto no Yoritomo, who opened the Kamakura Shogunate is a descendant of Emperor Saiwa. In addition, Tyranoki Amori, who fought for power with Genji, is a descendant of Emperor Kanmu. Both Genji and Hishi left Kyoto and became the masters of the samurai group by gaining strength in rural areas. It goes without saying that they became the masters of the samurai, because the lineage of the descendants of the emperor gained the respect of the people. Bloodline was important to become a shogun, Hideyoshi Toyotomi was a peasant, so he couldn't become a shogun. Iyasu Tokugawa is said to have called himself Saiwa Genji, but the truth is uncertain. The local daimyo at that time called themselves the descendants of Genji or Hishi. He strengthened his authority by raising his own lineage. The lack of the idea of defeating the emperor and becoming the king may have been related to the fact that the emperor's authority was the source of his power. In the Edo period, various disciplines developed. Among them is Kokugaku, which studies Japan. 
There is a restoration Shinto in this Kokugaku, which led to the later Sunojoi movement. Sunojoi is a movement that took place at the end of the Tokugawa shogunate, honoring the emperor and defeating foreign countries. The Meiji government was established after a revolution from this Sunojoi movement. The Meiji government used the emperor's authority to survive the unstable times of the early revolution. In this process, the phenomenon of deification of the emperor occurred, time passed, and even Showa politicians did not doubt that the emperor was sacred. Thus, during World War II, the emperor was worshipped as the current god. Japan lost the war. The emperor was not judged. The United States decided that the people would not be silent if the emperor was sentenced to death. As evidence of this, Emperor Shoah, who returned from the current god to humans, went on a nationwide pilgrimage without a guardman. The United States was worried that the people who resented the war would do harm, but the emperor was greeted by the people with great cheers. The 1,500-year-old imperial family is still respected by the Japanese. I pray that the reign of the emperor will continue in Chio and Yachio, as in the Japanese nation.